be looking at that one. Fifty-five. Do it back. Taking up lead now. You're pressing up. Been around a long time, you know. You'll have your experience. So now when you have is awakening. And it looks like you just got a bit of plan or stitch. Maybe he's just holding his side there. And he's blowing up. Jim and Good. He's just tapped in. You see two cocks there. He seems to be running okay, but he's just he's probably, probably seventy meters back. In yeah. fifth position. So Like Richard is slowly getting a gap on these other two. Jim and Jim Rogers is holding his side again. And do it back for it. House is looking strong. He's only got a couple of meters lead. But he's looking at Yes, he is. On these little bends, he's just taking another. Or so. As we turn on to the off very narrow country lane to a slightly wider road. Now we're back. We're back on the old of course. The course that has seen so many epic races over the years. And it has been closed down now, you can see. He needs to drop back now into that group. And if he wants to win this race, he needs to be aware that they're coming at him. Drop a bit. And group. For what's going to be a tough run in. Now, if I was a betting man, I'd put the odds on to the back house at this moment in time. But over nearly six miles to run, it's a close thing to call. It's uh, quite amazing, really. We can see first. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth position. Uh, I would suggest that uh, many a year that we've seen such uh, a short that many runners. Uh, Richard there uh, is looking okay again. The field as we take the spend. Into the village, or there's another bend to come. Into the you get an idea of the, of the distance. It must be tantalising for the three chasing runners. But he seems picked up a little bit again. No three runners are still locked together. Oh. In one twenty six ten eighty six minutes and ten seconds. Yeah. There was a tub. Around the road. Quite sharply there. And it's just to be aware that the runners must keep on the correct side of the road, left hand side. Otherwise we could have a bit of an accident. And now Richard must be totally aware that he is being gathered in. And how he deals with this will determine the outcome of the uh, this race and whether his name will be on the cup. 
over the years. This is the Humberside Championship. This has been the Yorkshire Championship many times. Bet 40, still leading this event, but he's being cut down by Stuart Backhouse of Scarborough, Jim Rogers, Lee Cole, and Jim of Beverly. So there's a lot of local interest in the upcoming mile. As you can see, oh, there's front. Time. When the other runners, uh, Jim Roger seems to have recovered from his uh, stitch. And he's uh, having that trio. And We're coming up. station here. This is where races are won and lost. He's not taking no. interesting tactic. But now coming up very shortly is a testing little hill. And can make or break as well. 16 miles, 132, 15. Of course, that got his one. 1 hour 41. 50 seconds. Not going to be threatened today. But we have a very interesting race in prospect. Testing little hill here could determine how the race goes. As Richard Butterfield is there within two meters now, catching him up. And I've used the hill of the trio to just pull him back and still back house. He's now suffering. That hill's of him and Jim Rogers significantly has taken the lead. Followed by Jim McGiven. Richard Butterfield wants to regroup if he's going to stand a chance. Across. We've got a new trio here. Stuart Backhouse is off the back. And Jim Rogers is pressing my home. He'll know this course better than anybody. And Jim McGiven pull away from long time leader Butterfield. Uh, Jim McGiven's got a whole turn of speed, but I would suggest they're pretty evenly matched. And this has been a great race. But I've never seen Jim do anything except. So maybe, maybe he's waiting for the right time to hit the front. Eighteen miles in one hour forty three forty four seconds. A couple of good miles here. You could have a sub 155. And these two are really going for it now. Richard Butterfield is in danger third spot. There's a Titanic struggle. He's on between two 
local runners. One from the promoter. Club. Obviously running very well. Interesting to know when he starts to the winner in this event. It looks like Jim was giving things a good battle. Jim Rogers has got over here. Whatever. Clampy head. And he's running very steadily. Given this, uh, probably they're at the shorter. So I don't know if any cars have got any legs for this type of tough event. I think on the, on the flat, he's probably got the edge on speed. But the boat looks fine. No problems. Just a matter of a couple of miles to negotiate. But you know, so as if um, leaving it, a lot of wind. So you can put a blanket over both of them. Nice, easy section. This very smooth ride. Two runners a lot together. And this the 19th mile in 149.27. Just in the last mile. Keep the concentration. And Jim Rogers' face. Still blocking. And it's Bali. So. This could well. A long time lead. Richard Butterfield. Going to the fourth place. One fifty six. And forty eight. 